come on. Can I listen to this song another time? Please? For like 10 million more years? No. Okay. Hello there, everybody. This is Seawalt the Planet One here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. So, last time, we returned to the Blue Planet to witness the Giant of Babel's rebirth. And now we're inside the Giant of Babel in order to stop it from destroying everything. So, let's get into a random battle. Hi. And other stuff. Okay, so let's go over here into the passage inside the giant as Rydia, because Rydia is golden. Uh-oh, this is not very good. You kept us waiting. The giant will not stop. Ha <laughs> ha you! You will all die here. My voices are getting better and better. The four emperors! Lord Zemus gave us new life. To kill you! We meet again. You showed me the power of those who join forces. Now prepare yourselves. At least he's still as honorable as ever, restoring our HP and MP. That's neat. Fight us with all your might! And so we get another round of the four emperors. Yeah. We gotta fight them all in a row. Yep. And if you notice why Cecil is moving around himself, I actually made some changes in equipment. See, I actually took... I actually gave uh, Cecil the Avenger, and he's dead anyway. I gave Cecil the Avenger so he could be auto berserk throughout this uh, fight. You know, just for kicks. And, uh, yeah. He's auto berserk throughout this entire fight, so I don't have to worry about uh, casting orders with him. So, uh, yeah. I'm only gonna do that for this fight, and then I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take it off for, like, you know, the next fight, for whatever. Because why not? Okay, so I'm gonna do Esuna on uh, Fusoya, and I'm gonna have them continue to attack. Let's keep on doing the attack. Now, if you notice, uh, Scar Mugione is taking way more damage than he needed to in order to do things with. It's because I think only in this fight and this fight alone, and I'm not sure why. Four Emperors are surprisingly weaker here than they actually were in their original fights. Like, seriously. Like... Fire 2 did not do, uh, this much damage at, uh... At, uh, this stuff, and- WOW! Okay, I was actually thinking I could just kill- Kill Rubicante instantly with, uh, Holy, but no, he- He absorbs Holy. Holy crap. Oh, well, that's a fine pickle. But, uh, it's actually really noticeable here that the four emperors are actually weaker, because look at this. Yeah, even his fire three doesn't do crap. It's kind of weird like that. Why did they decide to do this? Make them weaker. This should be, like, one of the toughest fights in the game, just like the four emperors. And especially considering, like, the amount of trouble in, like, practice. I had, uh, with, uh, Rubicante. I wouldn't be surprised if they, if they went this route, but nope. They made him weak for this part. Don't know why, but... I guess story purposes. So, you know. They still have their weaknesses intact, like, uh... Uh... Scar Miglione is weak to fire. Rubicante is weak to ice, and so on and so forth. But you just gotta keep on remembering that, uh, you need Rosa for- primarily for healing purposes. Just in case, you know, you get the chills and stuff. You get them chills up in there. Getting them chills. Okay. So, uh, I'm gonna actually, uh, give him the Spear Wave. And I'll have Rosa set up a, uh, hmm. 
What should I? Yeah, I think I'll probably uh, haste Cecil. I'm pretty sure you can uh, stack a uh, um, haste onto a Berserk guy. Pretty sure you can. Just so you know, Cecil can attack faster. Like that. Okay. Now, Rubicante's still not dead yet? Well, technically, like, in the last take I did of this, because this is, like, take two. Uh, I did, like, way more... I did, like, uh, way more damage to him than I did necessary. So, like, this fight went on for, like, a shorter time. Which is really weird. And, oh, hello. Now you're gonna bring out Kegnazo as soon as I get off the, uh, ice, too. That's neat. And... Why is Rydia taking so gosh darn dang it long to take to use a summoning thing to, to, to ah, I don't know. I just don't know and I didn't even know Kegnazo could absorb ice by the way That's so weird That's really weird But at the very least he's still very very much weak to the uh, Bolt 3 and I don't have Bolt 3. I have Bolt 2 so I might as well just go ahead and go all out with that. And when the heck is it going to get to Fusoya's turn? Like, seriously. It's been like well over 10,000 years and I still haven't gotten to Fusoya's turn yet. He's probably just immobilized there like forever. Like in the last thing. I think I should probably haste. I think I'm not, I think, yeah, yeah, I'm thinking I should probably haste, uh... Uh, Fusoya, after I get off the cure four. God damn it, it's still not Fusoya's turn yet! Jesus Christ, he is a slow bastard. <laughs> but now we're on to the last Emperor, Babaricia. And now, I, now I'm thinking I should probably haste up Fusoya right away. Because stuff happens, you know? stuff happens, man. Well, at the very least, in this fight, I didn't have to worry about, uh, anything at all. And, oh. I should have probably just hasted. Dang it. Fusoya never gets a turn. Despite, be despite being a very important, uh, person in this very late game stuff. And, oh, Maelstorm. Yeah, she has that. Oh, hello. Get to Rose's turn. Get to Rose's turn. Get the freak to Rose's turn right now. Okay, thank you. And now I can just bolt to everybody in the asshole. Before Fusoya can uh, make even a decent move. Yeah, Maelstorm is basically the tornado of uh, water. Just, It's just water. That is somehow deadly. God dang it, Fusoya, why can't you move? Because I know why you can't move. Because you're an idiot, that's why. You're an idiot who can't even do jack. Despite being from the moon. Seriously, moon people. Moon people, man. Just moon people. Okay, there we go. That fight took like way longer than it should. Because Fusoya didn't even make a move. But at the very least, Edge is dead. <laughs> and we got over 15,000 experience from that. Fusoya didn't even gain a level. That's odd. Lord Zemus! No, it can't be. Why? We failed. Well, that's the end of the four emperors. But uh, before I go up and heal, I should probably do this right now. Just give uh, Cecil back the defender and the Aegis shield. Okay, because I clearly learned my lesson from last take. Anyway, cutting away! And now I'm in the same place as before. Just, I'm healed up now. And also, battles. Nope. I do not need any more battles, thank you very much. Thank you very much. 
So, just to warn you right now, just to warn you. Judging from my last take of this upcoming boss fight that we have to deal with here, you might want to not berserk any people. Just saying. This is the giant's heart, the control system. Damn, it's huge! Before we attack the control system, we got to destroy the defense system, or else it'll repair itself! Alright, so this fight against the control attack and defense systems of the giant of Babel is actually pretty simple. What you need to do is you need to destroy the bottom small ball. That's the defense system. And the big ball is the control system. Meanwhile, the top little ball is the, uh... Oh, yay! Fusoya finally got to move! Oh, good! Fusoya learned how to move for once in his life. But, uh... Yeah, you have to destroy the bottom little ball. And for keep in mind, do not berserk anybody under these circumstances. Because despite berserk being cool and all, it just randomly target targets people, berserk people do. So yeah, do not even think about it. So you want to just destroy the defense system before moving on to the attack system and stuff. So, yeah, that's basically this boss fight in a nutshell. Just destroy the defense system and then keep wailing at the, uh, attack system until you, uh, eventually win. Or the control system, actually. Until you win. So, uh, I'm not gonna even bother to do anything. Just, yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna fight with Cecil. I'm gonna fight with Edge. Just to, you know, do things. Like a mage matcher. There should have been more stuff for Edge to throw, but oh well. Oh well for that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh... Actually, I'm gonna haste, um... Uh, who should I haste? No, I should haste Cecil. Why not? Edge is already fast enough as it is. There we go. Um, in terms of the, uh, control system, actually, your only real worry is that it actually casts Reflect like it just did right now, and I'm a big idiot for not realizing this. But, uh, yes. It's only real- it's only real threat is casting Reflect, which means you can't use any sort of magic spells at all. Like it just did right now. On Rosa. And it just killed her. And, uh, no, no, I should probably just, uh, keep on attacking, uh, the, 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 the control system. And keep on doing things. Um, I'm not sure Chocobo Kick will even do anything, but might as well. I might as well do something with Radia. Meanwhile, Fusoya is going to continue with his healing of people. Like that. Right there. Oh, it's only 30. Okay. Well, at least that helps. Yeah, at the very least, that does something, I suppose. And hopefully I can get everybody all up and ready before he eventually kills me. Alright, come on. Okay. What should I do? Nah, I should probably just fight the guy. I should just fight the dude in IRL. Okay, good. Okay, good. Rosa's turn now, so... Rosa should be able to get the Cure 4 off. And I'll be able to get the Spirit Wave off. Onto everybody. And stuff. So this boss fight is going to take like a million years to do. All because, like... There really isn't anything you can do in this sort of situation. You just gotta not use magic on them, because otherwise they'll reflect off of that guy right there. Which is lame. And there's I highly doubt that Fusoya is ever gonna survive anything right now because Eh. You know what, you might as well just leave Fusoya dead at this point, because all he can do is just magic. All he can do No! 
Well, you know, at the very least, uh, I haven't attacked the... In my defense, I haven't attacked the attack system yet, so... Yeah, at the very least, I can uh, do that. Just get some damage off of him before you eventually have to destroy it. Which means you gotta basically... You, you basically just gotta continue supplying the whole, uh... Thing. Uh, wait. Can actually, uh... Sylph... Oh, it only targets one. Okay. Okay, cool. I can actually get Sylph. I can actually use the Sylph. Company. That's neat. That is cool. Okay. Okay, good. Good. It does that. Okay. I can at very least do that with Radia. So, just gotta keep on cure fouring everybody up. You know, just for... Just for stuff. Just for stuff. And no way am I getting rid of the Avengers. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just keep on doing that thing. I'm gonna keep on doing the Sylph thing. I'm also going to keep on doing the other thing. Alright. Now we get the Wind's Whisper. And that should heal us up. Very nice. Yeah, I can only do like a thousand damage to him. To the attack system, because... It, like, one thing that's really weird about this game is that, uh... Again, damage is like split evenly. And for whatever reason... Um... Oh, that attacks that. That attacks both. That attacks both. That attacks both. Uh... A lot of these things, like, attack... A lot of these summons, like, attack both things, and just, like, why? I'm just, like, all, all like, why? There's no point. Yeah, I might as well just life up, uh, Fusoya, because why not? It's not like he was useful in battle anyway. He probably was useful, but whatever. Anyway, yay! We got him, actually. Yay. Finally. So now, all that's left is the attack system, and we're pretty much golden in this fight. So that fight does take, like, a very long time. But it's not really that hard, to be honest. It's not that hard. We did it! It stopped! You! Oh no. You've stopped the giant. You all pay for this with your lives! You! Who? Who the hell are you? You! You don't even know who you are? You don't even know who you are! No! Stop! Open your eyes! Disco pot, eh? God damn it, Fusoya. No. What have I done? Oh, God, what have I done? I was filled with so much hatred. You've regained your senses. Your father. Tell me your father's name. My father, Kluya. What? All this time, Cecil's brother? Golbez is my... You were controlled by Zemus. Those of lunar blood are susceptible to psychic power, thus easier to control. You were his unwitting pawn. What the hell? I was... Fighting my own brother. You're my... But it could have been the other way around. I could have been used for evil. I was a dark knight. But our souls were tested. You renounced evil, so I was found wanting. Zemus! Where are you going? I'm going to end this myself. Wait! 
Zemus is also of our race. I'll come with you. Farewell, Cecil. Cecil, come on! He'll get himself killed! He's walking straight to his death! How could you not blame him? We just found out that the guy we've been fighting this entire time. He's your brother, right? Brother. Go after him! Holy shit, this is not good! We've got to get out of here! Cecil! It's no use. He's in too much shock. What the hell are you doing? How do we get out of here? This way! Kane! We won't fall for that! Save the talk for later. We'll die if you don't hurry. Quickly! I finally regained control of myself. My mind was held captive by my evil actions. I can't ask you to forgive me, but... Damn straight! It's your own damn fault that the giant showed up in the first place! Stop it! Rosa. It's not Kane's fault. Golbez was under Zemus' control. Golbez? What? Golbez is Cecil's brother. Golbez and Cecil have the blood of Lunarians, an advanced race hibernating on the moon. One Lunarian, Zemus, wanted to enslave the Earth, so he used Golbez to gather the crystals. However, another Lunarian named Fusoya removed the spell on Golbez. And then Golbez went to the moon to with Fusoya to defeat Zemus. Golbez is Cecil's brother? I'm going to. I have a score I have to settle with this Zemus. Like I trust you, what if you become evil again? If that happens, don't hold back. Kill me. Oh, believe me, I will. Between you and Zemus, at least I'm guaranteed some action. Besides, I'm not just gonna let sit back and let Zemus play with the lives of people like that. Edge. Let's go. I'm going to. Cecil. Rosa and Rydia, you stay here. The three of us will go by ourselves. This time, there's no guarantee that we'll come back alive. Cecil, are you joking? Come on, get off the magical ship. Now, Rydia, this is where you get off. Leave the bad guys to us. You just stay here and be a good little girl. Oh, 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 Edge. No, you de no, 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 no. No, there is not. There is not. You better be kidding, because I hate to be you if you weren't. Let me tell you what I'd do to some pig who talked to me like that. I'd end his reproductive years quickly. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. Rydia. Rydia. You the man. Rydia. That was kind of below the belt. I don't blame you for being a bitch to me. God, I'll miss you. 
I sent a little crush, Ming. Cecil. Let's go, Kane Edge. Alright, at least we got the awesome music back. But holy crap, the first time I played through, I did not expect that reveal. I was like, what? I pretty much had the same reaction as Cecil, except I wasn't in shot. I was like, what? Like, seriously. Let's go. Rosa. Get out of my way. No! Unless you take me with you, I'm not moving an inch. What? Rosa, it's dangerous out there! As long as I'm with you, whatever happens... No, as long as I'm with you, I don't care how dangerous things are. Rosa... Come on, Cecil. Yeah, let her come. At least you got a woman. I had two chances for Rydia. Slim and none. All right, Rosa. I'll... I'll protect you. I don't know who that is. Oh, snap! Rydia, you're here! Oh, yeah, of course. Edge is the one to say that. As I said before, this is everybody's fight, not just yours. Plus, I'm the only summoner you have. Rydia. All right, let's go. We'll fight for everyone. Yay! We got the whole team back together. Was that previous scene on Earth even pointless? <laughs> well, as much as I would like... As much as I would like to go ahead and go to the final area, no, we're not. There is still the matter of business left on the blue planet that we have to indeed take care of before we move onward to the moon because I really like talking like this all space words out and everything else. Hey Baron! We have a giant freaking ship now. How do you like us? How do you like us now, son? But, uh, whatever. So, we have some unfinished business on Earth, and you know what that means? We got a rematch with Odin, son, in the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.